Um, but he was right by his side, you know, um, he really was. Uh, he didn't go alone. Jesus Baraliza was murdered in Anaheim Tuesday, police say, on his family street with his father by his side. About 6.15 a.m., the husband and father was moving his employer's van filled with his personal tools, his wife says, when two suspects carjacked Baraliza as he stood in the street. He was able to um, open the passenger door and uh, he was able to get in. Uh, he was able to get a hold of, of you know, the suspect um, uh, and the steering wheel. You know, the, the van was swerving. He, he really was trying his absolute hardest to protect, you know, what he felt. Um, was his and, and it was his responsibility uh, to do so. It was then Jesus Baralisa's wife says that he was run over and killed. His only child, Addie, here in pink, was one of the mourners to visit the memorial this morning set up on Melinda Circle. Traveling to places like Mount Rushmore was something the Baralisas did together often. Daddy and daughter were close. Eight year old Addie was the apple of his eye. We made sure to teach her, um, you know, uh, uh, values and, and morals, um, you know, the right way, the wrong way, um, how to just be an overall great person. The family says the victim's brother followed the suspects in the stolen van to a hotel a few miles away. Police arrested Omar Sanchez and 21 year old Yesenia Escareno for homicide and carjacking. They say Adriana Gomez was an accessory. And unfortunately, um, it was those bad people that he always warned my daughter about, you know, to stay away from that ultimately took his life. The suspects live in Anaheim and are known to police. Bail is set for the alleged murders at $1 million. In Anaheim, Michelle Gealy, CBS.